All right, Mikey, BMW Bros. This is a fun project, yeah, easy one. We're only, no, no, no blood hands yet, no, just a little just dirty. Dirt. Yeah, a little yeah. dirty. We're gonna get rid of this dust dirt yeah. nonsense of these, we won't say what I called them earlier. Um, yeah, no, you probably should not. I should I not say that? No, I'm, I'm gonna call them peasant breaks. Michelle, Michelle <laughs> okay. Michelle's gonna get mad at you now. <laughs> so we're gonna take these dust ridden peasant breaks off of here and do some real stop and power. Really, I'm just doing this because For it's cleaner. Yeah, 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 and they look yeah. amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the great thing about the M2CS, this is a, a cool thing about it. This is the hack on this car. Uh, but the great thing about it is that you can just swap, like simple swap. Yeah. Uh, so we don't have to change a brake booster. We don't have to change brake lines. We don't have to change anything other than just even, swap over. As we found out, even the wear sensor is specific to the M2 versus M3, Correct. so we can reuse the wear yeah. sensor too. Yeah, the M2, the M3 version is a little long. Too it long. would work, but it's a little long. Yeah. So um, I was toying with the idea of keeping the red but the gold, the matte gold, just looks so good mm, that it looks crispy. Red's red's yeah. going away. Yeah. So there will be a uh, a basically F80 brand new. We'll, we'll pretend like we should, should pretend like there's only like 200 miles on them. There's like 3,000 miles on these brakes. But they're gonna look like they have 200 miles on them or less. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry ice clean them. them. Yep, and then sell them off, and then. So the hack here is that you buy an M2CS, if you buy it with carbon ceramics, there aren't a lot of them for sale. Yeah. And so that was the cool thing about this M2, the only way to get carbon ceramics was to get the CS. Yeah. And so the, the, the carbon ceramic cars are selling for like 125, 130. Yeah. I, bought the, I bought this for 107 yeah. and I paid 11.6. For you're the still, CC, for you're still cheaper, and you get the yeah. satisfaction of the before and after. And then I'm going to sell these for five grand and make up some of that. Right, yeah. and so it's it's I save myself you know twenty thousand bucks by Probably. doing fifteen twenty thousand bucks, and then we get to do this fun little project. Mm -hmm. So uh, simple project in that you um, we disconnect the brake line, we let it drain into the tank, we take the caliper off, we take the rotor off, and just swap it over. Uh, so we'll show you how to set. Uh, I'll show you how we set up the. Um, the springs and all that on the on the new calipers, and then we get nice a nice clean setup. So we already did the passenger side, so we look real smart. Normally we would do that on camera, but Mike was busy. Yeah, the mic, camera yeah, mic, camera mic, cinematographer yeah, mic, yeah, yeah. artist mic. All right, let's go. So I changed my mind. So these come. We'll show you in the rear. But these come with the pads in a separate box, like this, and they come with a clip. And so this little clip you pop into place. So this, the bottom spring clip pops in here. You just basically take a screw flathead and just, just rock it in there. And then you put the pad, slide the pads in, push down on the pads to line up the pins. So these pins, you know, slide into place and then just knock them in with a, you know, with a little tap. So I just did a, uh, I just did one of these guys and I just tapped it in place like that. So that's all we need for that for this to, to put that together. We'll put the rear together when we get there. But I've already did uh, two coats of Deluxe and a coat of Gliss on this, so that's already been already been done. So this is the front caliper, rear caliper is here, also already been coated. And then I guess this one mounts like that. That's why the M looks like it's upside down. And then the pads, these are specific carbon ceramic pads. So these are designed for the carbon ceramic rotors. And then it's really interesting like to buy these rotors so to buy this they're like 4200 bucks a piece like if you buy them from like get bmw parts or something that's where i got this kit but if you buy the kit it's 11,600 bucks for the whole thing the calipers the pads the brake booster the whole set so an f80 kit is 11,625 bucks from getbmwparts.com pay tax and a few hundred bucks shipping so 12 grand and you've got the whole setup uh, and then, like I said, what I'm planning to do is um, I'm going to put, it'll be a full kit. So if you had like an M2, you know, competition or you had a, a um, shoot, if you had an F80 and you wanted these giant, you know, the bigger calipers or the bigger brake booster. So if an F80 steel brakes and you just want to upgrade to these, you could, because these are different. So the red front calipers are the same calipers as the carbon ceramics. And I think, Mike, on an F80, the steel brakes are smaller. That's correct. I think they're four piston where these are six. Yeah, these rotors are bigger and these calipers are bigger on this steel brake setup than the steel brakes on an F80. Even comp package? Yeah. 
Yep. Compact is just a two piston blue caliper. Yeah, the blues. The steel yeah. rotors, the same as the non comp. Yeah, so somebody better, somebody who are watching this video, I may have already sold it, but um, if you want it set, I'll sell it to you. For, I think five, it'd probably worth five grand. I think that's fair. I think they probably cost eight, it probably cost eight or ten if you were to, you know, buy them. And I'm going to dry ice clean them so they'll look like they're brand new. And uh, these have like 3,600 miles of like, Baby driving. Baby, yeah, you're just, just like driving around Sarasota miles. So I think like when all this dirt and dust and all this crap, I'll have that all cleaned up for you. But it'll be a complete set, bolts, everything. All right, so brake line, this clip right through here. So this is the probably the toughest part of the job is getting this stupid clip off. So that's off. Next thing is just uh, to uh, pull the brake line from here. This stays, so you got a steel line because there's no swivel. So you have to pull this line and take it with the caliper and unscrew it out of the caliper. So we'll do that now. And there's no wear sensor on this side. Let me show you the wear sensor on the other side. Yeah, they're the opposite corners. Left, front, right, rear. So we pulled the wear sensor off of the... Um, off of the, you know, this is the stock M2 sensor. And so that wear sensor then goes and plugs in. See this little, that little package back there. What is this thing doing? There we go. So that little black box back there, just pop the cover on that thing. And that's where the wear sensor goes. So there's a wear sensor on the driver's front and passenger's rear for these. I don't think it'll ever get to the point to where the wear sensor. Uh, Not on carbon ceramics. <laughs> I like using fuel line wrenches for this. You can't you want to round one of these off. I think it's okay. I mean, the lip just is one little chunk just a little root. chunk. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. I'm just you don't really notice it when it's on the ground. Again. It'll also look a lot better when I get this crappy PPF off of here. I see, that. I see it right here. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, it's a pretty nice lip actually. Yeah, I'm sure that lips. 1500 bucks at least so since this is going to drip on all the suspension stuff best thing to do is just take a towel and just it over and let it run yeah and let it run on the towel that way you can control the drippage yeah brake brake fluid's not fun so we are going to replace the dust shield in the front but not the back see the back you'd have to pull the e-brake in order to get this on and off so Yeah, 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 the front's a different part number. See, the carbon ceramic's bigger. But the rears are the same as stock. What was it, the one year I said it was Mike's 65th birthday or something? Oh, so I don't believe that. Yeah, a yeah. bunch of people did, yeah. yeah like, wait. Like, everybody wished Mike a 60th birthday. I was like, what? Tight. <sighs> I'll put new new bolts and everything on this yeah. thing. Yeah. What you pay me for? I'm not real fond of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you have your gloves on. <laughs> I've been taking heat all these years for not wearing gloves. What are you talking about? No eye protection, no gloves. I right. like to live dangerously. That's it. Okay. You gotta kind of tweet. There you go. Let me squirt the... Uh, Squirt the brake juice in here. Push the pistons in. Get my shirt all dirty. <clears throat> all right, so we take off the dust shield. Oh, well, well, first we have to take the rotor. rotor. Yeah. There's two four millimeter bolts. These are fives. Yeah, These are fives. Yeah. This is my kind of modifying. Yeah. Better OEM parts that bolt right on. Yeah. No nice. modifications, no yeah. cutting. Yeah. Although it, it seems to me, it's just as satisfying to me. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> Even well, though those it's are easy. heavy compared to the. Oh yeah, let me go get the douche scale and yeah, check out the, the check out the weight. Oh, shoot. 
So, so the front, the front, so the front's fourteen pounds lighter. We'll show it, yeah. So the, this is the rear's twenty point seven four pounds. Okay. Then we set the uh, the rear on the rear carbon ceramic on there. Mm -hmm. That'll tell us the the tear. So the, the rears are eight pounds lighter. So there's the differential, eight point one four pounds. So then just back off. And then we hit clear. And we put a. Uh, Front rotor, if it's the front steel. It's 30.31. Okay, there. So we put the front carbon on there. The difference is 14.03 pounds per row. So you figure the front, the front wheels are probably seven, eight pounds lighter, you yeah. know, wheels and tires. Yep. Yeah. So we're, you know, 22 pounds lighter rotating mass. And yeah. you feel, you feel like I gained 30 horsepower, mm -hmm. maybe 20. And, you, and supposedly with lighter unsprung weight, you feel the road better too and your feedback in the wheel too. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's fun all for all that stuff. racing I'm doing. Yeah, well, you know, track days, bro. Now I'm ready. All right. Hey, we ready gotta to take to the dust shield off. Ready to take the dust shield off. So the front, we are taking the shield off. Yep. So Three 10 millimeter bolts. Hub's not even rusted yet. Look at that. That's pretty. Not only that, but it's black. Looks better. Line up the little holes. So I coated this rotor hat with the uh, Deluxe Gliss as well. It doesn't look right there. Yeah, this one doesn't look like a tin. Um, I think we're something. I think we got we it indexed line. right? Oh no, you see this yeah. one? It's this one, Matty. Yep. You got it off a little bit. Yep. I was gonna say, something doesn't look right there. Yeah. That one's a real counter suck there. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck's going on here? You're still the number one assistant. I don't care if anybody says. Okay. Nope. There we go. That's more like it. So this is why you have to remove the brake line. There's no swivel on this bar. Corvette racing approved. Is it Corvette racing approved? Yep. Class four, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be disqualified from racing the Publix. Right there, it looks good. Three ugly duggies. That's classy right there. That's some good stuff. Never look this good again. Yeah, I think gold is 
you know, I was thinking it'd be kind of interesting to load the carbon ceramic pads up in the red calipers, yeah. but. They just look right for this, because everybody knows that a BMW is gold calipers. Yeah. Well, you gotta match the calipers and seat belts, always. I don't know who made up that rule, it's dumb. So route the brake line behind the sway bar end link. It clips in. So I think this, you know, makes sense for a lot of M2 CS guys. You know, they got steel brakes if you want to do the swap. Yeah. I mean, I mean net, it would, net it would cost you, what, six grand if you sold your, if your brakes were still in perfect, let's say you even sold them for four grand. Yeah. Net, you're at eight grand, you got carbon ceramics. I would do that. But I mean, that's, I think that's what it was. 85. That, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. 8,500 bucks. But I mean, if you didn't get that, if you're not the original owner and you didn't order it that way or you were yeah. trying to go minimal at first and then you regretted it later. Yeah. And then the beauty of this, you don't have to do all the work because the, the, the brake booster and all that would be the hard part. Yeah, it's already done. So the last piece of the puzzle is this clip. Hey, my afternoon nap, Mike. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I better sit down. I should have kept that arrow creeper that Scott gave me. I think we really need to get you a couch with wheels, though, more than anything. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You know? All right, that's in. That's what we're going to get. And when I get a real big garage, mm -hmm. our next garage, couch with wheels. Yeah. Nice. And you need pneumatics so they're quiet so you can sneak up on people. <laughs> just be there. Just all of a sudden you turn around, there's a bad sleeping guy on you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we'll have and I'll have an assistant. We would get like a like a dolly on it, yeah. like where it has handles on it, so yeah. they can roll you around. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Let's see, my sensor goes here, here, around, behind here. Yeah, but we shouldn't have to detach it. We can just pull it. We can pull it off the clip. Yeah, we just pop it out. Yeah. Disengage the e-brake. I was looking for the right word. Yes. What did you say? Turn it off? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the e-brake off. Turn the e-brake off. Right? Well, on a Porsche, you, you literally are turning the e-brake off. Yeah. It's stupid. I hate that stupid Porsche thing. You're like trying to like line an upper back out with the door open, you know, old school, you know, 90s, 90s, 90s backup and 80s backup. You open the door up, you look out the back. Well, yeah, then the frickin' thing turns on, yeah. Like, just leave me alone. I'll tell you when to turn on and off. Can you code that so you can choose? Uh, I don't know. But and then every single time, I've had a Porsche since 2014, seven, eight years, and I still don't know which way it goes. It's like pull, push, you know? It's, whatever it is, it's backwards. Yeah, everything on here says M4, F80, you know? You got an M4, F80. M4, yeah. the front thing, they definitely the M4, this is M4, that's yeah. my favorite, I like that. I need my Remus, Remus race rear and then we can... Do the active, that's going to change everything, you're going to... Yeah, because I mean it doesn't make sense to cut this exhaust. No, I would leave it. If complete. I've got the rear coming. Yep. Sell it complete. Yeah, this one's a lot harder to do. So, yeah. It's precision. Pad in here first. God damn. That pad there. This pad goes here. There you go. This pad that goes under. Mm hmm. Let 
And then this has to push all the way down. It's a little dicey. There, watch out. It's easier with two people. And now we gotta push them, line them up with the holes. Yeah. The cameraman's in the way, I can't. I'm, I'm just kidding. Shot, I'm just, I know you are. I'm just messing with my This one's already lined up. So that one's in. Should be good. Just see me for 20 minutes trying to figure out how this freaking thing goes in there. I'm like, this way, this way. I'm trying to see it by uh, uh, the yeah, it's, it's on, on the, the ground. Car, yeah, man. I'm like, what the? I'm just looking forward to uh, pumping the brakes and you can just sit there and take a nap. Yeah, but yet we're using the pressure bleeder, so. I don't have a pressure bleeder, do I? Oh, yeah, yeah I do. do. Yeah, I do. Hey, yeah. do the motive. Yeah. I saw it in there. Oh, yeah, it just was the e brake. Honors. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want you touching it. Let's see if I can do it right this time. That's right. Brakes are one of those things I always feel, um, or I used to feel like, oh man, these are gonna be hard. It's like the easiest thing, one of the easiest modifications to do. I think because it's so critical, you feel like you could mess it up. Hold that rotor for me. Drywall, and I figured I'm gonna do something more fun. That was nice of you. I did some drywall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got back from mountain trip, and Matt has decided we are gonna get this thing finished. Um, we did the carbon ceramic brake kit on it from an, basically it's an F80, F82 brake kit, or I guess it could be for the CS2. You can go get those with carbons. Um, but what we found out was the brake booster has to be changed. It is different than the, the brake booster for a steel rotor and a regular calipered car. Um, I called BMW, gave them a VIN off of this, gave them a VIN off of a M4 or M2CS with carbon ceramics, and indeed it's a different booster. So I'm gonna swap that out, and then once we get that done, we're gonna work on installing all the uh, Olin's road and track suspension on it. So I'll get started on that now. Matt's in a meeting, so I'll see if I can get this at least mostly knocked out before he gets done.
now that the bracing's out of the way, I can really see this the brake booster much better. Looks like I can pull right off the analog brake module, and then there are two soft lines, flex lines that that feed over to the two other hard lines. All right, so I'm about to pull the uh, the reservoir and the master cylinder off, but it's completely full of fluid, and we just did a brake flush on it because we didn't at the time realize we were going to have to do a booster. So in order to not make a mess and run fluid all over the place, I'm going to hook up the pressure bleeder back to the top of the reservoir, crack this line loose, and force all the fluid just so that reservoir is empty. And then uh, we're going to have to completely bleed everything anyway because i got to pull both lines off of the mass cylinder. So long story short, I'm going to do that so we don't make a big mess, and uh, then we can finish pulling this apart. really recover this and reuse it since I just put it in. All right, so evacuated all the fluid out of the reservoir and the master cylinder, and that was all fresh, clean fluid to begin with, so um, depending on what Matt wants to do, we might buy more, but uh, we could re reuse this if we wanted to. So now, the uh, pull that off and not get fluid all over the place. <clears throat> so last, this one nut is a little tight on space. Uh, you need a eight inch long fingers to get in there. Oh no, please don't tell me I have to pull all those lines. That would suck. Come on. That was a good video, actually. Okay, good. Yeah, I already got the master cylinder out. This is the uh, under dash panel. That I'm pulling off that covers the you know where the booster bolts up so I had to unbolt you know take a couple nuts off that bolt that secure it to the airbag and then I've got to pull a couple of wire um, plugs off here Yeah, I'd say that's probably it. Maybe it needs to be some kind of O-ring or something on there. Yep. Goes right there. Good job, Maddie. Way to go. There's even a little O-ring slot there. Huh. Maybe I should have read the instructions. I like to do it for the people, you know. You make sure. everyone else feel, you know. You gotta make them feel good. Yeah. How did I think that was good? <laughs> Things are sliding around like they're not even connected. What was I thinking? But yeah, it's good. It's tight. You know? I, mean, third try. I didn't put the O-ring in there. 
you're, you're kidding. I put it on this one. Oh, gosh. And I... I think I lost a space or two. Dang it. We're going to take it to BMW get the maintenance done, Mike. Uh -huh. Free maintenance. Yeah. It decreases the value if you don't let them do it. Oh boy. You need a funnel there, buddy. No, I'm just. He's gonna go for it. I think you got it. E you got it. It always feels so successful. It's a big success when you aim it and don't, don't hit the dribble out the outside of the hole. Sometimes I do it and then I flinch after I already made yeah. the hole. Yeah, you get a little, little, little shimmy, a little stutter. This filter's making it real slow going here. Come on, come on. No, I'm at 10. Not even close. I never thought about doing two bottles at once. Oh boy, he needs some. Got all those air bubbles. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, how the heck did that happen? Shoot, is that the one we just did? No, that was the original one. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a that was a good catch there. That was a pretty good catch. Don't worry about paint. It's got PPF right there. That'll protect it all. The whole car. This little, this little triangle. I just need, need some snacks. That's what I need. So we got a BJ's Wholesale Club now. Yeah, what? You, it's just you, one, two people. Uh -huh. You need to be going to bulk I for. Don't. It's a joke. Am I? <laughs> no. All these people, like the single people in the village, go shopping at Sam's Club. Like, what are you? What are you buying? It's like that thing of ketchup is going to go bad. You know, forty-five pound container of peanut butter. <laughs> you know, it'll be separated by the time you eat all that. Or you'll be 400 pounds. Like a giant, the only thing good there is a giant container of cheese balls. But then my mouth is bleeding, you know? You ever do that? Get the cheese balls, a big old vat of cheese balls. But they're like, they're, they're super sharp. And then like a roof of your mouth gets all cut up from them. Because I eat like half the container. I mean, I understand if you have a family of like 19, you go there. But otherwise, what's the point? Paper towels, man. I guess I'm having a hard time understanding. I'm putting salt carbon ceramic brakes on my car on my, <laughs> and my M2CS, so maybe I should shut my mouth. Actually, I'm watching somebody put <laughs> carbon ceramic brakes. That's even better. That's even better. Uh, <laughs> I joined in like 2006. I joined BJ's Wholesale Club, and 
all I bought were Dunkaroos and cheese balls. That's it. I'd go there once a week. Be like, all right, we need to go grocery shopping. I'd buy a big, giant thing of Dunkaroos. I'm like, this is the last time I'm getting it. I'd eat the whole thing in a week. Like, enough for a family of 20. Just eating, you know, you know Dunkaroos come in a box of six. I'd eat the six pack. <laughs> and then I get to the point, I just eat the icing and throw the. the, the, throw the <laughs> <laughs> just oh, scoop it all out with a spoon and make a big pile on your plate and just eat it. Dunkaroos are good though. <laughs> Actually, they're terrible. I don't know why I like Dunkaroos so much, but. I've never had one. You're missing out. It's business. All right, now, so now what's going to happen? We did this perfect install, no fingerprints. We're going to chip the gold off. No, it's going to fall it. apart. Say it. Ooh, the old BBS Dura center caps match pretty darn nice there, buddies. Oh, with the gold? Look at that. You know the center caps we were making fun of? Yeah. Ain't no... Can't have gold if you're a peasant. Yeah. <laughs> with them steel brakes. Look at that, rolling. We're gonna have gold suspension too. Uh -huh. Yellow. Yellow, gold, same thing. That's pretty sick. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's like. Not much clearance. Three millimeters. So you can see the reels, all the wheels are already all cut and scored already. And rocks getting in there and cut the darn wheel in half. Look at that. That ain't supposed to be there, bros. To get some better studs for this. I don't like these after living with the um, the racings on my 2E92s. I can't can't live with these black, boring ones. No more dirty, dirty wheels, Mike. Get, I can just pull my airline down and clean up. So I'm gonna walk a roo back in there nice and slow, controlled. We take this all the stuff for granted, you know, like Prevost couplers. Everything. It's all top notch. It's so it's much, yeah. Air conditioning, space working on cars. Checking the pedal feel. I didn't realize there's a little, po little secret pocket here. Holy crap. Do you have a little secret pocket in your car? Where? Look at this thing. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I can put a Glock in there. Good. Put some coins in there. A little gold bar. Gold. It's not going to be VIN matching. It's ruined. Yeah. All right. Project done. I'm not doing that. Okay. We're just leaving it just like this, and tomorrow, okay. tomorrow I'll, I'll be really motivated to clean up. Right now, I'm not. Okay. Should we put the cover back? All right, bros. That's a wrap. It's gonna look sick when I get this thing all set up. So it's a good project. We'll do some uh, do some cleanup. I don't think you're gonna make it by the time this video is out. I bet you these brakes will be gone. But if you want the uh, the OE brakes, I'm gonna have them all dry ice cleaned up, and uh, we'll ship them out to you for. I have to look up what they cost, but I want to say these are probably pretty expensive. They're probably like ten grand. 
you know, if he were to just try to buy them you know, like this with the brake booster and all that stuff. So I'd say 5,000 bucks and I'll ship them out to you nice and clean. But uh, anyway, give me a shout and uh, thanks for watching. Next up on this car will be, I don't know if it'll be exhaust or suspension, probably be suspension. Uh, but uh, this, this car is going to be given away in September or October. So we're going to do September 15th, October 31st. I think we've nailed that down uh, where you'll buy some stuff in the store. Uh, there won't be any info on it until we get closer to that time. You'll buy some stuff in the store and you'll get credit toward um, an entry. So every five bucks you'll spend, you'll get an entry. And then hopefully we sell enough stuff to pay for this thing because I spent a lot of money on it. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. M2 is coming together. We'll see you soon.